Carmac at the Hillsboro Aero Academy is normally a training ground for young pilots with dreams of flying in the skies. But today it was a memorial for one of those pilots who tragically passed earlier this week. Fox 12's Carly Olson is in the studio with us today with more on the service. Carly? That's right. 20-year-old Barrett Bivakwa was one of the passengers killed in a plane crash in Newburgh last Tuesday, along with 22-year-old Michele Cavallotti. Bivakwa was on his way to becoming a certified flight instructor, and even though he had dreams of the sky, family and friends called him an angel on Earth. He lived the day to conquer what was in front of him. Memories of his character. Barrett lived his life in the best possible way. He pursued his passions and brought others along on his journey. And stories of his goofy personality. Wardrobe malfunction doesn't even start to explain it. <laughs> it was hard for some to put into words how it felt to lose 20-year-old Barrett Bivakwa. I don't know how a 20-year-old girl is supposed to process that her best friend died in a plane crash. That one of the three people from high school she thought she'd be close to forever would be taken from her two years after they graduated together on the football field. The young man described as kind, good at everything, and determined to do his best passed away when the plane he was in crashed into a Newburgh home last Tuesday. And a crowd of family and friends showed up to the Hillsboro Aero Academy on Sunday to celebrate and to mourn the life they say touched everyone around him. He took everybody under his wing. Didn't matter what mood he was in. Didn't matter how tired he was, he would make time consistently for everybody. Barrett had dreamed of being a pilot since he was two, and his family was proud of him for pursuing his dream. A dream and a person taken away far too soon. He was my best friend, my late night driver buddy, the, the nosiest sibling you can imagine, as well as my protector. He truly was an angel on earth. He's touched all of our hearts. He's made us better. And for that, we're thankful. There is a GoFundMe set up to help with Barrett's funeral expenses, and you can find the link to that in the web version of this story at kptv.com. Reporting in studio, Carly Olson, Fox 12, Oregon.